as Liz Trust got it wrong. <laughs> Well, look, the uh, the mini budget last week included several major spending plans, including uh, relief for uh, Britain's beleaguered home energy consumers. The uh, total financial commitment involved is enormous, and it was presented with uh, no notion of likely sources of funding to address the problem of growing sovereign debt. Um, Unsurprisingly, there was immediate negative reaction in financial markets, bond yields rose sharply, a sterling tank stock sank. The cover in The Economist this week is, is titled, How Not to Run a Country. Uh, the new prime minister and her chancellor are seen by some to have made a grossly risky and ill-considered mistake in the interest of promoting economic growth. Uh, her defenders say she had little choice and must soldier on. This is going to be a bitter argument at one that is very important for the future of the nation's economy. I will look at both sides of this debate. First of all, those who say yes, uh, she has got it wrong. Uh, well, uh, to begin with, it was just simply imprudent for Truss and her chancellor to ignore the almost mandatory requirement to review uh, budget projections with the Office of Management and Budget and simply press ahead with the announcement. Uh, governments always do this before they present a budget. They just want to make sure the numbers are right. Uh, this lot probably realized they would get thumbs down and did not want that embarrassment. That's not very professional. Uh, most devastatingly, the, uh, the markets worried about the ability of the nation to finance this program and the uh, bond market uh, panicked. The cost, uh, cost of borrowing in government bonds immediately went to 4%, whereas they had been uh, 1% a year ago. This meant that the cost of the government now in servicing its borrowings will rise by several times. This is virtually an insurmountable problem in itself. Furthermore, it caused panic in the investment community in that uh, institutional investors holding bonds suddenly found themselves with huge uh, asset losses on their holdings. Uh, the Bank of England was forced to step in to calm the markets, and it announced a £65 billion pound package to buy up government bonds. The bank warned that the crisis presented, quote, a material risk to UK, UK financial stability. How awful. Uh, this is almost uh, Banana Republic stuff. The housing market is also clearly in trouble, and those on variable rate mortgages could have a big problem with their monthly payments. The government can't bail them out, too. And in an enormous political error, tax cuts were announced for those with the highest incomes. The argument for this was that it was necessary to retain top people in the city and to prevent their being poached by uh, institutions in other countries. Almost no one believes this, and, and it is assumed that this was simply a payoff for the mates of the Chancellor and some of his fellow rich Tory MPs. Uh, the two main opposition parties, that is Labour and the Lib Dems, have made great fanfare about this. They are really having some fun. The approval ratings of the Labour Party have skyrocketed. Humiliatingly, all this was predicted by Rishi Sunak uh, during the leadership debates. As The Economist said, this has been the worst start to a British government in memory. It is so bad that it seems reasonably likely that this government will not even survive the current term of office. What a mess. Okay, well, what about those who say, uh, no, no, she's doing okay, uh, uh, she hasn't made a mess of it. Well, it's a bit like the government spending program during the recovery from the Depression in the 1930s in America, engineered by President Roosevelt. Spend a lot, borrow a lot, but get everybody working and growth will ensue. Uh, it worked. Uh, Britain uh, needs a strong dose of supply-side economics. That's the theory underlying this whole program of Liz Truss and her exchequer uh, chancellor. 
Reducing the financial and economic burden on major producers means that more goods will be made available at a competitive price. That will drive both uh, consumption and investment, and it will create jobs. This is what Britain needs in order to reverse decades of decline and poor performance. And we must point out that the current turmoil is not the fault of the new administration, but the catastrophic situation in Europe and in the world in general. We are all reaping the horrendous results of COVID, the war in Ukraine, and even Brexit. No policy could be easy or popular. Uh, the household energy bailout was essential. You just can't deny that. There was just no choice. Extreme personal hardship would have ensued otherwise. It's tough medicine, but the nation has no choice. We must ride out the concerns of the market and soldier on. Well, what's my take on this <laughs> dismal situation? Well, uh, the situation that we have been encountering has been coming for quite some time. There's nothing new in this. Unbridled government spending, skyrocketing national debt enabled by cheap money. That, that's what this has been about. And it couldn't continue indefinitely without, uh, without some form of trouble. I've addressed this view in past videos. But to put forward an expensive and seemingly unfunded budget without adequate explanation, confirmation by financial experts, and without funding plans has turned out to be a disastrous and, to be honest about it, amateurish move on the part of the government. A related problem is that Tory MPs, the uh, uh, parliamentary uh, Tory MPs, will be reluctant to change leadership because they selected Liz Truss and must be seen to give her a chance. But uh, for them, it's all about getting reelected, so that could change. <laughs> Alas, we are in a, ma a mess. Uh, we must put the blame squarely on Liz Truss and her new government. So uh, I, I imagine most of you will agree, but uh, some of you won't. But in any case, uh, to me, it's pretty clear. <laughs> so uh, please, uh, if you... Uh, uh, want more on this subject, take a look at a couple of these videos and subscribe, please. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.